Okay, we're coming up on Shady Brook. You'll see there's some retail around. This is the outer boundary. Two entrances, one here, and... Turn right onto Byron Place, then okay. turn right onto Whitman Drive. This is the second entrance, which is the one where you're, the one we're recording is. Turn right onto Whitman Drive, then turn right onto Whitman Court. Turn right onto Whitman Court, then the destination is on your left. Then right onto Whitman Court, left onto Whitman Court, or did it say right? I think it said right. Okay. Okay, so it's going to be one of these buildings. Let us figure it out really quick. Okay, so I'm at 6884 Whitman Court. Arrived. Um, I want to just show you uh, a little bit of what it looks like. Um, these roofs are three tab. Um, they do need to be replaced, three tab roofs. Um, we're basically not allowed in the county anymore after the early 2000s. Um, but it does seem like there's newer roofs across the way. So it might be on the schedule soon to be replaced, which is a good sign. Just taking a look at the neighbors. The landscaping is very cute and tidy over here, which is nice to see. And let's go inside and see what it looks I like. I want to say that I'm actually very impressed with the landscaping outside and the way this little cul-de-sac looks in here. Um, I've actually never seen Shady Brook look so good. Um, and the unit is adorable. So as you walk in, you have a uh, ceramic tile, a little coat closet. Laminate flooring, um, so you have like a dining room, living room combo. We'll explore that over there soon. Um, this used to be the lanai. Uh, they raised the floors and made it a Florida room. And they're using, they're utilizing it as an office, which is nice. Uh, galley kitchen, nice uh, breakfast bar, plenty of storage, granite countertops, plantation shutters. They took out the dome lighting, that's really nice. Uh, this leads right into the laundry room. They're using half of it as uh, pantry storage, washer dryer to the right. and the second bath right over here. It's connected to the hallway, so easily accessible by the second bedroom. And this looks like it's a laminate flooring. Um, at first glance, it looks like it might be tile, but it looks like laminate, a vinyl, and then laminate flooring out here. I mean, this is where the AC unit is and the water heater. Second bedroom. Plantation shutters again. Very nice. A typical storage for guest bedroom. Goes all the way down. And I want you to have a good look from both sides. The master. And this is actually pretty cool. I'll show you it in a second. Um, nice space in here. To the right, we have the master bath. Same amount of closet that was in the guest bedroom. Um, you do have double vanities. So one here. 
and one in the toilet shower room. No tub in the shop in the master. And I do like to just um, get a look in these just to see if I see anything funky. Um, the only thing I might possibly see is down there may need some recalking, but that's not too bad. And over here, which also used to be part of the lanai, they've enclosed to make a little arts and crafts space, office. They have a window unit for AC out here. Cute space. It's really unique compared to the other units. And this leads out to the lanai. Now, um, first thing I do want to point out, it, it does back up to a road. Um, so you're going to hear that traffic noise out there, which hurts you on the resale side. So you're probably going to, if you were interested in this, you may get a good price on it, but, but you have to expect somebody's probably going to try to steal it from you as well um, when you go to sell it because that it backs up to the road. So we have the lanai here, screened in. And one thing that's really unique about Shady Brook is the fact that there's not townhouses that give you lanai space like this. Outdoor and indoor, that is completely yours. Usually you step outside and it's common area, but this is all yours which is really something special. I'm telling you, there's nothing else in Sarasota that is like this when it comes to um, townhomes and even villas. It's hard to find this outdoor area that you can call yours that's not common space. So just something to consider. Um, now, when it does come to the neighborhood, I don't want to lie to you about the fact that some of it does need work, but I'm actually really impressed with Whitman Court and what it looks like and how it's been maintained, but I do, I do say this confidently that this roof does need to be replaced and that should be the association that takes care of that. So let me know what you think and uh, we'll talk soon. to tell you all the windows and doors are new and have been replaced, which is awesome.